Hi, my name is Vinny and welcome back to Faster Moon Media. I've been a music educator for over two decades and I can say that I have been fortunate to have been given teaching opportunities in various institutions that made me feel valued and respected as a teacher and most importantly as a person. Throughout the years, I only didn't have the chance to earn and hone my teaching skills. I also learned a lot about people, learned new languages and pursued personal endeavors such as engaging in triathlons and traveling. Welcome back to Media. So we're now heading to Iwasihama Beach, and let's see if we can take this right. Let's go. Yeah, we just got inside the tram stations and. Uh, we have finally arrived in our third destination. Welcome to Iwasihama Beach in the beautiful city of Toyama. Check this out. Beautiful weather today. All right, let's go and check out the lovely beach of Toyama, Iwasehama Beach. Now, if you want to spend a day trip here from the city center, it's very easy access. You can take a tram ride from the city center and that will only take, take you about 30 minutes from the train station all the way here to Iwasehama Beach. Now, I'm... I'm lucky I was given two tickets, back and forth ticket, for good for two days. But also I have my IC card or Ikuka card that I can basically use um, every single city here in Japan because my other pass, the JR pass, some of the local trains or the city trains are not covered. So you need to purchase a separate card for your city ride and Ikuka is very very accessible even in many of the train stations around Japan you can load your card with credit so not only that you can also purchase drinks from the vending machines around Japan so that's the advantage of having the Ikuka card but for today I'm currently using the free pass for this tram. Fantastic view here in the beach. Check this out. Now, if you are a type of person that would really spend your time alone during your, you know, your spare time, this is a good area to just relax and, you know, unwind from the bustling city. Toyama is not really a big city, but it's a very clean and very organized city. That was my first impression when I arrived yesterday. Lovely weather today, and I'm really enjoying the vibe here, just walking around the, the beach area. During my primary years, up to secondary years, I used to live in a nearby beach not so not so near I would say relatively near so the village is about I don't know 1.8 kilometers from our home this kind of vibe is not really new to me and I miss this kind of vibe too and back also three years ago I used to run an Airbnb uh, somewhere in Suwik area and it's also at the beach side. And so that's one thing that I miss about having, you know, this kind of vibe. As I journey through Toyama City, I'm reminded of its rich history, including its bustling past as a hub of Kitamei Buni ship sea trading. 
The streets are like a living history book. And just like that, I have arrived at the Wasing Hammer Station. The anticipation is building as we're about to explore this picturesque beach with a fascinating history. It was a beach once known as Ichumaiko in the old days, is a tranquil paradise. As I walk along its sandy shores, I can't help but be captivated by the serene beauty that surrounds me. But it's not just about the beach. Iwase has these charming historic streets that harken back to its Kitame Buni ship sea trading days. The architecture and ambiance are a true blast from the past. And speaking of history, the port of Tayama, the sea gateway to this vibrant city, is right here. Imagine the countless ships that have passed through here over the centuries. But what truly takes my breath away is the view of the Tatayama mountain range across the sea. It's like a postcard come to life. And I can see why this place is so popular in the summer. Check this out. On my left side, we have the ship area. I mean, it's not the big size pools, but now this uh, regular sizes. On my right side, we have this lovely beach side. I saw a couple of locals um, doing some fishing. They have actually put a fence over here. So we're not allowed to go beyond this area. And yeah, fantastic. I'm really enjoying the vibe here by the beach. Yeah, it's just spending 30 minutes or an hour here. It's just beautiful. So welcome to my third destination. Next one, so there's the castle ruins that we can also visit. So let's see if we have enough time to visit today. We will do that in a couple of minutes and we will head there. All right, so that's it for today. And I'm gonna enjoy first my remaining minutes here in the Iwasihama Beach. All right, see you in a while, bye. And if you're an angler, you're in luck. Sea fishing is a popular activity here and there's nothing quite like casting your line with this incredible back trap. So there you have it, my short trip from Denki Brumay Trump to the serene and historically rich Iwasihama Beach. This place is a true gem, offering a glimpse of Tiyama's past and the natural beauty that continues to draw visitors. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. Welcome to Tiyama Castle Park. This historic ruin is like a time capsule that transports us to Japan's fascinating past. This sprawling park encompasses the former grounds of the Tiyama Castle, making it a treasure trove of history and natural beauty. At the heart of the park stands a majestic site, a reconstructed castle keep. This keep, through rebuilt in 1954 with ferro-concrete, echoes the glory of the original castle that was first constructed in 1543. Finally, we made it here inside the Tuyama Castle and we are currently on top of the view deck of the castle. This is actually a folklore museum and on top of this is a view deck of the folklore museum slash Tuyama Castle. Just a quick view of this city. Let's go one round so you can see the lovely view or landscape of Tuyama City. Here we go. Let's go. Now the current battery percentage is 10% so I'm trying to really hurry to finish this video so I can uh, replace the battery and start with a new uh, vlog. Alright so that's just it for today and this is my last destination for today. I'm really really tired and we're going to check out the event at the Tuyama station. They are currently preparing for a musical event over there. Let's see if it's already kicking off and I'm gonna see you in my next destination. Bye! The park offers a delightful mix of experiences. You can stroll through a beautiful Japanese garden spread out on the spacious lawns or admire a statue paying homage to the former local lord. Timing is everything here. If you visit around early to mid-April, 
you're in for a treat. The park transforms into a pink wonderland during the cherry blossom season. And it's a prime spot for hanami or cherry blossom viewing. So whether you're a history enthusiast, a nature lover, or simply seeking a serene spot for cherry blossom viewing, the Yama Castle Park has it all. It's a place where the past meets the present, and every visit is a journey through time.